speaking of different, I mean, the when we had Scott Adams on, he was talking about his prediction of Joe Biden. I guess he's looking to pick a woman VP and the idea of that they would flip the card so that, that the the VP would become the president. Uh, and it seems like he was pretty strong in terms of his stance on it. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, we've got a doozy of a puzzle here. So I don't think if Biden ran and won that he would last four years. Hmm. I feel almost certain he would be stepping down in two years, if not one year. So wow. in some sense, because the, of his age, you're saying, yeah, I, I am not seeing compelling evidence, even that there are good days on which he does not show signs of substantial decline and bad days. What I'm seeing is decline that reliably shows up each appearance. And we know this doesn't get better. So I'm not a Joe Biden fan, even if he was uh, young and vital. I think he's too much a part of the Democratic machine, and therefore he's uh, he's a, he's just a part of the corruption. But in his declining state, it's not even safe to have him in office, right? Mm -hmm. Given the the dangers that we face on an international stage, having somebody who is in severe mental decline in that office is is a daily hazard. So in some sense, a vote for Biden is a vote for the the DNC. But my guess is internally, they already know that they will have to do some kind of a swap. And Adams might be right that uh, it could be before the election, in which case we would have an, I believe, unprecedented situation on our hands where the DNC has effectively advanced a stalking horse and we're going to have a swap. Maybe it would be Kamala Harris, uh, which I would find a very frightening prospect. Um, but something something is afoot i don't think the american public is in on it it certainly isn't about the interests of the american public and it is incredibly mm. dangerous in light of the partnership that the democratic party seems to be striking with this uh with the protest movement in the streets which is advancing these policies that we know will be a disaster there's definitely a divide in terms of how this the united states in terms of how people stand it. The fact that there's really just a two-party system in electoral system that it is seems like there doesn't pose any options. No, in and fact, the, the purpose of it is to stamp out the real options in the primaries so that by the time you get to the general election, you have to basically put one spin or another on the status quo, which is exactly why I believe Andrew Yang ran up against the obstacles, many of them preposterous and racist. I mean, mm. I remember seeing uh, a picture of a, what appeared to be a randomly chosen Asian man uh, with Andrew Yang's name on him on CNN, uh, displaying the results of, uh, I don't know, one caucus or another or one primary or another. This is just, uh, it's despicable. Yeah. So um, stamping out the good options in the primaries has to stop which means we have to confront the major parties and dethrone them. What's like the core root of why an independent party can't rise to power as and stand with the Republicans and the Democrats? Well, somehow we have to break the hegemony of the two parties. The obstacle to that is that structural elements in our system tend towards two parties. So first past the post voting causes these sort of large, incoherent coalitions to form in order to gain power. So the fact that our system just game theoretically defaults to two parties is a problem. Now, the question is, can we do something within the confines of that system to fix that tendency? Um, so uh, ranked choice voting is uh, one solution that will tend to solve this problem. And I think there are others, but we're going to have to think a bit outside the box. Yeah. The fact is the founders did not understand the, they didn't understand game theory. They didn't understand evolution. So they couldn't have predicted some of the things that would evolve in the context of the system they set in motion. Now we do know what happens and it's time for us to adjust it. Basically they gave us a marvelous prototype and it's time for the next iteration.